I thought you were probably taking it serious with Crawford because you were going nose to nose with Crawford at press conferences and all different yeah. places. And it seemed like you're setting yourself up and psyching yourself up to fight him. And Mikey comes out of left field. I mean, so how did that change your mentality? And I, mean, I didn't psych myself with the fight, Terrence. I mean, we just met each other and we had a you know altercation. But I mean, I knew that was that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Fat, nigga, that's what you mean. I'm not fat. Fat. I'm not fat. Muscles. That's fat. It don't matter. Yeah. Hey, it don't matter. Yeah. Grab it again, hey, son. Hi, Grab it again. I look at the way in, though. Grab it again. I look at the way in. We, we talking about now. I look at the way in, But you talking about how big you is. It's fat. But how I look at the way in. Grab that. I look at the way in. Yeah. I can't But, I mean, you're still a fighter, though. So, how difficult do you think it will be for Spence to go to 54, and then if he is going to fight Crawford, come back down to 47? Do you think he's just Oh, no, it's done? over. It's oh. over. Once you go up, it's over. You just gonna kill the fans. Oh, it's over. Like that? Yeah, yeah. See, I mean, it's over. I'm, I'm, I think. My thing is, I think that's the hardest thing to to take the body up to a weight, get used to it, and deplete it back down to go back down. I think that's that. You, I don't think we'll see the same little Spence going back down. I like to give thanks to the women boxers to put on a hell of a card last night. Amanda Cruz, Alicia Baumgartner, Mikhail, and Cruz put on a great show last night. And I would have to say, women boxing is doing the most. The best are fighting the best. Alicia Baumgartner called out a Michaela rematch, called out Katie Taylor, and it's also been confirmed we're getting Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor, part two. Undisputed versus Undisputed, May 20th in Ireland. We're getting the Katie Taylor Serrano, part two, we haven't even had a Tans Crawford, Errol Spence, part one yet, if we get it at all. Speaking of Errol Spence, his key Thurman fight hasn't been announced yet. You know, it's been speculation. It might be the end of March. It might be June. With that being said, Spence fans have told me Errol Spence is making a pit stop at 154 to defend his 147 pound belts at 154 against Keith Thurman. Then he's gonna move back down to fight Terrence Crawford at 147 for Undisputed, which never made sense to me. Why don't you just go down to 147, defend your belt the right way against Keith Thurman. After that, spin the block again and make the Terrence Crawford fight. I think Errol Spence cannot make 147 anymore. I don't think Errol Spence was ready to fight in November if the fight happened, or December, or in January. My opinion is that Errol Spence never lived the boxing lifestyle. You heard out of his own mouth, sometimes he would start training camp 25 pounds over the weight limit. That is not living the boxing lifestyle. It was just a matter of time before that lifestyle would catch up with him. And I have to agree with Tony Harrison. If Spence fights Keith Thurman at 154, because we haven't heard anything else about it yet, it hasn't been confirmed, but those are speculations they can fight Keith Thurman at 154. I would doubt he comes back down to 147, and if he does, it will not be the same Errol Spence. And who's to blame for all this? If you ask Spence fanboys, they will say Terrence Crawford is to blame because he did not sign the contract draft. Also, he is to blame for Errol Spence not able to maintain weight at 147. Even though Errol Spence has been going through this for five or six years. This is the reason for some people, his nickname is not the truth. His nickname is the weight bully. Anyway, leave your thoughts or comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.